today I'm going to be making nachos. I'm going to be using Taco Bell sauce, a little bit of salsa, mild, some corn here. I'm going to be using some cheese taco sauce, some ground meat, and um, some chips. Okay, so what we're going to do first is this. We're going to um, make it on the stove here. So she has to put this one on. We're gonna let that cook a little bit. Now we're gonna wash off our corn. We're gonna wash off the corn here. So you can see I'm gonna show you how to wash this off. It's not here at all, but. So we washed our corn now, if you can see, and we place it on a cutting board. Okay, so now we're going to like see this stuff in the stove here. Now it's cooking here, it's cooking. So while it's cooking here, I'm going to add um, um, one pack of, you want to add like one packet of this, um, McCormick seasoning here. I'm going to show you. You want to add one pack of this. You want to add three fourths cup of milk. Oh, that's weird. I didn't think milk would go in here, but I guess so.
chopping it up and then until it's all incorporated. You want to chop it off and then you see these are all incorporated here. things cooking so we'll be right back after these um after this brief message now once your ground beef is um done cooking you want to add three fourths cup of milk in there any milk is good just make sure it smells make sure it smells good you don't want to get some spoiled milk three fourths cup of milk in there. And you want to add one of these packets in here. cheesy taco packet. You want to make sure you add all that in there. Just mix it up and let it cook for about three to four minutes. I'm just going to let it cook now for three to four minutes. And we'll be right back. Now we're going to take it and we're going to add some corn here to this thing. Way to do it. It's going to do it on the cutting board so it's using the cutting board here. It's a lot easier. Use the corns here. I'm going to put it all in there.
Taking that all more corn to this um thing on the stove here, so let me just uh put it in this plate here and put it in all on the stove. Now I'm going to be adding this Kobe Jack shredded cheese to the top of this meal. It's just Kraft Kobe Jack or you can get any brand you want. I use Kraft. I'm going to add some 
from channel to it. I found a cozy jump which is not enough. So if you don't have enough cheese, you just add a little bit of this and it'll work just as good. This is by Sargento. It's a more expensive brand. Mexican chips. Okay. I'm going to open your chips. They're called Mexican style corn, yellow corn tortilla chips. You want to put them on the floor. Set them all on your bowl like this. Now we're gonna check our stuff on the stove, which is which is now almost done. So I'm just gonna let it cook. And if you want to cool, it will simmer for the rest of the time. Make sure you get your own thoughts on the way you start. That way it never works and I leave it on your own. Okay, so this is what it looks like here. If you, if you want to see how I'll bring it a little closer here so you guys can see what it looks like. I'll bring you guys a little closer so you, you can see what it looks like. That's what it looks like there. Looks pretty good. It's all done. And everything. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to pour it all over our What you're going to want to use two whole, two more bags just because you don't want it to spill. And everything most people don't, but I would. And then I'm gonna like just scrape a little bit of it out. heavy for me but I'm just gonna scrape it all out and I'm gonna just put it about like this And then what we're going to do is this. And you want to 
on top but with a little extra salsa on top to get all the salsa in the corners and the chips and on top of a little extra and there you go don't forget to turn on post notifications or to, don't forget to comment down what your favorite nachos is and maybe I'll try them. And don't forget to um, hit the subscribe button. And check out all my social medias. And see you in the next video.